हेलो स्वतंत्र टीवी व्यूअर्स आई एम महिमा वेलकमिंग यू टू आर इंग्लिश बुलेटिन विद लेटेस्ट न्यूज अपडेट्स एंड एनालिसिस बीजेपी इज इंडल्जिंग इन टैक्स टेररिज्म टू फाइनेंशियली क्रिपल कांग्रेस द कांग्रेस ऑन फ्राइडे सेड इट हैज रिसीव्ड फ्रेश नोटिसिस फ्रॉम द इनकम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट asking it to pay 1823.08 crore rupees it alleged that the bjp is in serious violation of income tax laws for which authorities should raise a demand of more than 4600 crore rupees from the saffron party the congress also accused the ruling bjp of indulging in tax terrorism to financially cripple the opposition party ahead of the lok sabha polls addressing a press conference at the AICC headquarters here along with Congress General Secretary Jairam Ramesh party treasurer Ajay Makan alleged that the BJP is in serious violation of income tax laws and said the IT department should raise a demand of 4617.58 crore rupees from the Saffron party for such violations he said that the congress leaders had analyzed all the submissions of the BJP to the election commission the party has faltered every year he pointed out Ramesh alleged that through the electoral bond scam the BJP has collected 8200 crore rupees and used the route of prepaid postpaid postrate bribes and shell companies He asserted that the Congress's campaign for the upcoming parliamentary polls will continue and the party will take its guarantees to the people of the country He said the Supreme Court will soon hear the Congress's plea on the income tax department's demand Before the dust could settle on that unprecedented vindictive action In a patently illegal and undemocratic move, the frontal organization of the BJP has launched its next premeditated and diabolical campaign against the Congress, he added. Makan alleged that the BJP ruled IT department has so far forcibly taken out 135 crore rupees from the Congress's bank accounts due to an alleged 14 lakh rupees non-compliance demand against the party. Bharatiya Janata Party ne kareeb 8000 250 करोड़ रुपया चंदा इकट्ठा किया है हमने विस्तार से इस पर चर्चा की है पिछले कुछ दिनों में जो चार रास्ते अपनाए गए हैं बीजेपी द्वारा पहला रास्ता था चंदा दो धंधा लो यानी कि प्रीपेड घूस दूसरा रास्ता सा था ठेका लो चंदा दो यानी कि पोस्ट पेड घूस तीसरा रास्ता था हफ्ता वसूली यानी कि ईडी सीबीआई और इनकम टैक्स की धमकी दो और कंपनियों से चंदा लो और चौथा रास्ता था फर्जी कंपनियों का रास्ता यानी कि शेल कंपनी द्वारा चंदा लो ये इलेक्ट्रल बॉन्ड घोटाला सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने कहा है यह संविधान के खिलाफ है यह गैर संवैधानिक है तो किस तरीके से लेवल प्लेइंग फील्ड भाजपा की सरकार ने नहीं रहने दिया अपने ऑपोजिशन पॉलिटिकल पार्टी से और कैसे बीजेपी को फेवर किया जा रहा है और इनकम टैक्स की उन्हीं धाराओं का इस्तेमाल करके कांग्रेस को पीनलाइज किया जा रहा है और बीजेपी की तरफ आंख बंद किया जा रहा है सबसे पहले तो इस बात को की जानकारी हम आपके सामने रखेंगे दूसरा भाग हमारी प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस के अंदर होगा कि किस प्रकार से कांग्रेस पार्टी को प्रिंसिपल ऑपोजिशन पार्टी को तंग करके कांग्रेस पार्टी के को आर्थिक तौर के ऊपर कांग्रेस पार्टी को एकदम से पंगू करा जा रहा है अपंग किया जा रहा है आर्थिक तौर के ऊपर यह हमारी दूसरी प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस का दूसरा भाग होगा पीएम कौशन सिग्निफिकेंट रिस्क ऑफ मिस यूज ऑफ ए Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Friday cautioned that a powerful technology like AI in unskilled untrained hands holds significant risk of misuse as he advocated the need for clear doors and don'ts and use of watermarks on AI generated content to curb misinformation and deep fake related harms in the society in a candid freewheeling chat with Microsoft co-founder and billionaire philanthropist Bill Gates Modi spoke at length on how India has democratized technology for the benefit of its citizens embracing the power of digital for improving lives and exuded confidence that the country will take remarkable strides in the fourth industrial revolution that has digital in its core 
During the discussion that touched on a slew of topics, from AI to digital public infrastructure, the Prime Minister said in the case of deepfakes, it is crucial to acknowledge and identify that a particular deepfake content is AI-generated, along with appropriate disclosures about its source. Citing dangers of AI harms and deepfakes in a society, he said, misuse of his voice, for instance, can initially deceive and misguide people leading to widespread appro. Acknowledging the importance of AI, the Prime Minister outlined how India extensively leveraged the New Age innovations during the G20 summit. AI also helped to translate his speeches in different languages, he mentioned. And this source उसी प्रकार से मैं AI से पहले काम बोलूं जिसकी मेरी महारत हो मेरी महारत हो और मैं थक गया हूं सो जाऊं वो कर लेगा तो वो ठीक नहीं है जैसे हम हम कह देते हैं कि तुम पांच बजे उसको फोन लगा देना तो ये ही कर देगा या मैं कह दूंगा कि मेरा वो गाना मुझे सुना दो तो वो कर देगा तो मुझे पता होना चाहिए ना कि भाई मुझे इस समय किस गाने को सुनने की जरूरत है मेरे लिए क्या रिक्वायरमेंट है हमने उसकी सिक्योरिटी भी देखनी चाहिए भारत के कानूनी व्यवस्था तो की है लेकिन लोगों को भी अवेयर करना पड़ेगा अब जैसे मैंने आज मेरे देश में यूनिवर्सिटीज वगैरह सारे सर्टिफिकेट क्लाउड में रखवा देते हैं ताकि खर्चा भी बचता है और जो भी रिक्वायरमेंट मिल जाती है मेरे यहां कंप्लायंसेस की जरूरत होती थी मेरे सारे कंप्लायंसेस की जरूरत नहीं है आप अपना डाटा एक क्लाउड पर डाल दीजिए मुझे आपका आइडेंटिटी दीजिए मुझे जो जरूरत है मैं उसमें से ले लूंगा तो मैं नागरिकों का ईज ऑफ लिविंग के लिए टेक्नोलॉजी का बहुत उपयोग कर रहा हूं जो सर्विसेज के लिए पहले करता था अब मैं ईज ऑफ लिविंग के लिए कर रहा हूं कॉन्ग बैट्स फॉर वुमेन रिजर्वेशन इन गवर्नमेंट जॉब्स द कांग्रेस विल रिजर्व 50% ऑफ गवर्नमेंट जॉब्स फॉर वुमेन इफ इट इज वोटेड टू पावर फॉर्मर पार्टी चीफ राहुल गांधी सेड ऑन फ्राइडे असर्टिंग दैट पावरफुल वुमेन विल चेंज द डेस्टिनी ऑफ इंडिया Gandhi asked why even today only one in three women is employed and why is there only one woman in 10 government jobs? Isn't the population of women in India 50%? Is the presence of women in higher secondary and higher education not 50%? If so, then why is their share in the system so less? The former Congress chief said. Therefore, the Congress has decided that half the recruitment in all new government jobs should be reserved for women, he said. Women with secure income, future, stability and self-respect will truly become the strength of the society, he asserted. Under its five guarantees of Nari Nyai, the Congress has promised 1 lakh rupees per annum direct cash transfer to be made to one woman from each of India's poorest families. The party has said 50% of all new recruitment to the central government positions will be reserved for women, if it comes to power. Sabse pehla. और शायद सबसे जरूरी हिंदुस्तान की हर गरीब महिला को चाहे वो मजदूरी करे खेती करे छोटा जॉब करे हर गरीब महिला को सीधे बैंक अकाउंट में हिंदुस्तान की सरकार साल के एक लाख रुपए देगी कल मैं एक आदिवासी महिला के घर के सामने रुका बातचीत की उनका बेटा पुलिस में भर्ती होने की कोशिश कर रहा है उसका पेपर लीक होगा पेपर के दिन उसको पता लगेगा कि किसी अमीर बच्चे ने पेपर खरीद लिया और उसकी मेहनत बेकार गई उसकी मां महीने के दस हजार रुपए कमाती है पच्चीस हजार रुपए का बिजली का बिल था पानी का बिल है पांच छह घर में वो कपड़े धोने का काम करती है यूपी हमारी सरकार आएगी इंडिया की सरकार आएगी उसी महिला की आमदनी दुगनी हो जाएगी एमिड अ सीरीज ऑफ डिजर्शन फ्रॉम द पार्टी भारत राष्ट्र समिति वर्किंग प्रेसिडेंट हैज मेड अ वैलियंट एफर्ट टू पुट ऑन ब्रेव फेस सीनियर बी आर एस लीडर एंड राज्यसभा मेंबर के केशव राव इज कंटेम्पलेटिंग रिटर्निंग टू द कांग्रेस फोल्ड सोर्सेज सेड ऑन थर्सडे केशव राव who had served as state congress president in undivided andhra pradesh has decided to return to the congress 
Bharat Rashtra Samiti Lok Sabha candidate from Varandal Kadia Kavya decided to withdraw from the contest. Her father Kadia Shrihari, a BRS MLA, is also likely to desert the party. Against this background, Rama Rao described the desertions from the party by seniors as betrayal and backstabbing. He was speaking at the Chevela Parliamentary Party Preparatory Meeting at Telangana Bhavan in Hyderabad on Friday, calling the defection of former Minister Patnam Mahinde Reddy and Chevela MPG Ranjit Reddy to the Congress akin to betrayal and backstabbing. The BRS working president urged party workers to ensure that these leaders are taught a bitter lesson in the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. He ridiculed Chief Minister A. Ravant Reddy for lacking the courage to accept his challenge to contest against him from Malkajigir Lok Sabha constituency. BJP indulging in tax terrorism, action will be taken after change of government. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi accused the BJP on Friday of indulging in tax terrorism by misusing probe agencies and warned it, saying when the government changes, such exemplary action will be taken that no one will dare to do such things again. In a post on X, Gandhi shared a video of his press conference held on 15 March where he answered a query relating to the income tax notices issued against the Congress. When the government changes, action will definitely be taken against those who have disrobed democracy. And such exemplary action will be taken that no one will dare to do all this again. Gandhi's post came on a day when the Congress said it has received fresh notices from the Income Tax Department, asking it to pay 1,823.08 crore rupees, and alleged that the BJP is in serious violation of income tax laws for which authorities should raise a demand for more than 4,600 crore rupees from the Saffron Party. The Congress also accused the ruling BJP of indulging in tax terrorism to financially cripple the opposition party ahead of the Lok Sabha polls. Kejriwal's wife launches WhatsApp campaign for AAP leader. Delhi Chief Minister Irvin Kejriwal's wife Sunita launched a WhatsApp campaign on Friday, urging people to support her husband, who is in the Ed's custody in an excise policy linked money laundering case. In a digital media briefing, Sunita Kejriwal said her husband has challenged the most corrupt and dictatorial forces in the country and asked people to support him through their blessings and prayers. Issuing a WhatsApp number 8297324624, she said people can send their blessings, prayers or any other messages for the Aam Admi Party, AAP, National Convener, and she will communicate those to him. Kejriwal was arrested by the Enforcement Directorate, ED, on 21st March in the money laundering case linked to the now scrapped excise policy for Delhi. A court on Thursday extended his ED custody till 1st April. The AAP on Friday said the entire country was ashamed over the politicization of Central Probe Agency's Enforcement Directorate and CBI by the BJP and people will respond to this in the coming elections. The BJP has developed the biggest political washing machine in the last 10 years that churns out election donation and falsehood when businessmen and politicians facing corruption charges are put inside, AAP spokesperson Jasmine Shah alleged in a press conference. Kal court mein Arvind ji ne apna paksh rakha. आप सबने सुना तो होगा अगर नहीं सुना है तो एक बार प्लीज उसको जरूर सुनने जो कुछ कोर्ट के सामने उन्होंने बोला उसके लिए बहुत ही मचा ये सच्चे देशभक्त हैं वे बिल्कुल ऐसे ही हमारे स्वतंत्रता सेनानी अंग्रेजों की तानाशाही से लड़ते थे पिछले तीस साल से मैं उनके साथ हूं 
देशभक्ति उनके रोम रोम में बसी है अरविंद जी ने देश की सबसे ताकतवर भ्रष्टाचारी और तानाशाही ताकतों को ललकारा है आपने अरविंद जी को अपना भाई अपना बेटा कहा है क्या इस लड़ाई में आप अपने भाई अपने बेटे का साथ नहीं देंगे मुझे पूरा विश्वास है कि हम सब साथ मिलकर यह लड़ाई लड़ेंगे मैं आपको एक व्हाट्सएप नंबर दे रही हूं व्हाट्सएप नंबर है एट टू नाइन सेवन थ्री टू फोर सिक्स टू फोर फिर से एट टू नाइन सेवन थ्री टू फोर सिक्स टू फोर आज से हम एक अभियान शुरू कर रहे हैं जिसका नाम है केजरीवाल को आशीर्वाद इस व्हाट्सएप नंबर पर आप अपने अरविंद को आशीर्वाद भेज सकते हैं आंध्र प्रदेश चीफ मिनिस्टर वाई एस जैगमोहन रेड्डी ऑन फ्राइडे अक्यूज द ऑपोजिशन पार्टीज ऑफ कॉन्स्पायरिंग टू सैबोटेज द वाई एस आर सी पी गवर्नमेंट वेलफेयर स्कीम्स मेंट फॉर द पुअर एड्रेसिंग अ पब्लिक रैली एट यम मिग्नूर इन द कर्नूल डिस्ट्रिक्ट ज्योरिंग हिज बस यात्रा Jagan Mohan Reddy declared war on the conspirators. He said it is a war between the poor and the rich. He declared that he was prepared to take on the three-party alliance and defeat the conspiracy to sabotage the welfare schemes assured in by the YSRCP government. He vowed to fight for the rights of the poor people. He listed his YSRCP government's achievements in education, women's welfare, and direct cash transfers. The government has assured in revolutionary changes in 58 months. English medium was introduced in government schools and schemes like Amma Vodi to promote education. Do you want to vote for the TDP which has ignored education? They have not brought a single scheme for the welfare of women. Contrasting his regime with the previous TDP rule, Jagan Mohan Reddy asked whether the poor received a single rupee during the TDP reign. The government has so far credited 2.7 lakh rupees crore into the accounts of the poor people. The government has been providing 3000 rupees monthly pension for the poor. Manchi chesam aa manchi tho ennikalaku velta unnam. Kabatti ennikallo mana target. Ee ennikallo mana target. 175 ku 175 ml lo gelavali. तेलंगाना फोन टैपिंग के Ex DCP police officer interrogated a former deputy commissioner of police of the Hyderabad Commissioner's Task Force and another police official were questioned by the police in connection with the case of phone tapping and destroying certain computer systems and official data on 23rd March two additional superintendents of police who were accused of colluding with suspended deputy superintendent of police of the state intelligence bureau D Pranith Rao were arrested Pranith Rao was accused of erasing the intelligence information from various electronic gadgets as well as phone tapping during the previous BRS government. As part of investigation into the case, the police had recently issued a lookout circular against former State Intelligence Bureau Chief T Prabhakar Rao and then Deputy Commissioner of Police at the Commissioner's Task Force P Radhakrishna and a senior executive of a Telugu TV channel. The lookout circular was issued against them as they were not available for investigation in the case and were allegedly not cooperating police had said adding they are suspected to have gone abroad
PDP chief N Chandrababu Naidu on Friday promised to develop Raisima much better than Konasima. Naidu told a gathering at Bandanpalle of Nandil district as part of the Praja Dalam election campaign that soon after the NDA comes to power within 45 days he will take all measures to develop at region in all sectors the former chief minister told the people that chief minister wise jagan mohan reddy has ruined every village and town he justified the alliance between the tdp jana sena and bjp by saying that it was not political gain but in the interests of the state the tdp's main goal is creating assets and distributing them to the people particularly the poor he condemned the vysrcp government forcing cases on journalists he said the state government has even implicated swatantra channel reporter in a false case though the tv channel does not drum up support for any party Congress leader from Uttar Pradesh Pankhuri Pathak on Friday called for a judicial probe into every death in police custody saying the state government and the police administration becoming so uncontrolled is extremely worrying and dangerous Pathak the chairperson of the Congress's social media wing also claimed that Uttar Pradesh occupies the top spot in the country in terms of custodial killings Her remarks came after jailed gangster turned politician Mukhtar Ansari's death at a hospital in Banda district of the state on Thursday Ansari 63 was lodged in the Banda jail and died of a cardiac arrest. The family of the five-time MLA has alleged that Ansari was subjected to slow poisoning in the jail, a charge denied by the prison authorities. There are reports of deaths in police custody or custodial killings every day in Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh ranks first in the country in terms of custodial killing. No part or section of the state has remained untouched by this. Among those who died were Dalits, Muslims, tradesmen, Brahmins, backward class and people of every caste. There should be a judicial inquiry into every death that occurs in police custody, Pathak said in a post in Hindi on Facebook. TDP announces final list of candidates for LS polls in AP. The TDP on Friday announced its final list of candidates for the forthcoming Lok Sabha polls in Andhra Pradesh, which included a Vaisa Congress MP who joined the party recently. TDP fielded M Srinivasulu Reddy from Ongole, who recently quit the ruling Vaisa CP. He was elected to the Lok Sabha from the same constituency on a Vaisa CP ticket in 2019. The opposition party also announced the candidature of K Appalanaidu from Vijayanagaram, a Lakshmi Narayana from Anantpur and C Bhupesh Reddy from Kadapa. TDP had finalized the candidates list after taking public opinion. With the announcement of four names, TDP completed the process of choosing candidates for 17 Lok Sabha seats. It has been allotted as part of the NDA in the state. Besides 17 Lok Sabha seats, TDP was allocated 144 constituencies in the assembly elections in the state to be held simultaneously on 13th May. Under the deal, actor politician Pawan Kalyan's Jansena will contest to Lok Sabha and 21 assembly seats. Andhra Pradesh has a total of 25 Lok Sabha and 175 assembly seats.
Markets end FI24 on buoyant note amid positive global cues. Benchmark equity indices Sensex and Nifty rallied for the second straight session on Thursday to end the 2023-24 fiscal on a bullish note, powered by Acros Dabod buying amid a bullish trend in global equities. Power, auto and metal stocks witnessed robust demand, even as a depreciating rupee weighed on sentiment, traders said. Extending its previous day's rally, the 30-share index jumped 655.04 points or 0.90% to settle at 73,651.35. During the day, it zoomed 1,194 points or 1.63% to 74,190.31. The NSE Nifty climbed to 103.25 points or 0.92% to end at 22,326.90. In the 2023-24 financial year, Sensex jumped 14,659.83 points or 24.85%, while the Nifty soared 4,967.15 points or 28.61%. Bajaj Finserv was the top gainer in the Sensex chart, rising nearly 4%, followed by Nestle, State Bank of India, Power Grid, Tata Steel, Larsen and Tobro and Mahindra and Mahindra. Shares of Bajaj Finance and Bajaj Finserv jumped amid media reports that subsidiary Bajaj Housing Finance was planning to go public. Nestle, State Bank of India, Power Grid, Tata Steel, Larsen and Tobro and Mahindra and Mahindra were the other major gainers. In contrast, Tech Mahindra, Axis Bank, and Reliance Industries were the laggards. Thank you for watching Swatantra TV English Bulletin. For a complete and comprehensive English news bulletin, please do watch Swatantra TV every day. This is Mahima, signing off. Keep watching Swatantra TV.